we're back. And welcome back to Lead Follow. We are back at Clarkson and Kaylin's Brewery, Hawkston's, and this time it's the Cider Festival. I'm here with my friend Matt. He's never been before, but he's already having a great time. So this time it's being hosted at the Hawkston Arms, which is kind of like their on-site bar. It's a much smaller, more personal event than the last one that we did a video on. But the format remains the same. Of course, there's cider and beer on tap. There's live music, as always. The Mumba Burger Van is here again. Literally the best burgers on the planet. Take my word for it. You've got to come and try them. So we thought we'd head up here in the V10 Audi and make a day of it. Of course, as I'm driving, I'm not going to be drinking. I'm going to be buying some stuff, taking it back with me. Because it's the run-up to Christmas, they've laid on a small market where you can buy merchandise from Hawkstons and various other things that you might want to give to people. Especially yourself. Cider burgers and bacon, three of your five a day. Unfortunately, the weather took a bit of a turn, so we decided to make a break for it and head back to the Audi. You ever been to Clarkson's Farm? Never. Would you like to go? We go around the corner. Why the three well, you can always get a uh, one of Clarkson's candles that says, this smells like my bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> so we are leaving Hawkston's now. Uh, very quiet one. We only had like, what, one? You had two bites. And uh, it was Matt's first time here, so I kind of wanted to introduce him to it. Um, it was a very quiet turnout, actually. One of their smaller uh, events of the year, I'd say. But we left before Caleb Clarkson turned up. Uh, kind of just wanted to get back on the road. But advantage is, because we left a little early, we can just about get over to Clarkson's shop, farm shop uh, before it closes, which would be quite cool. Cider is very good. Cider is very good. So after a short queue for some extra shopping, we decided the theme for the rest of the day will be the hunt for more V10 noises. So the question is, does this sound more V10 when we've got a little bit of sunroof open and a little bit of the windows cracked? Let us find out. So we're not gonna do it now, there's not enough uh, galloping, there's not enough galloping room. So we've got a little straight, make some, make some V10, here we go. So yes, to answer the question is, yes, you do get more noise with the windows down. Yes. So I've just dropped off Matt and I'm heading back home now, but now is a good time for me to tell you a little secret about the real reason I'm making this video. It's not all about going to Hawkston's, having some cider, and then going out in the uh, in the V10 Audi to make V10 noises. This is actually the final time I drive the V10 Audi because, I hate to say it, I've sold it. So that was a very short-lived love affair, but of course, if you see my other videos, my heart is elsewhere. I actually want to crack on and do the EZ30 swap uh, on a BRZ or 86. So really, this is just kind of like a, a roadblock to where I actually want to go. But the good news is the car isn't going very far at all. I'm not gonna tell you who it's going to yet. You may have already guessed it, but I will let that person do their own video to tell you all about that. So for the moment, I shall just say thank you for watching and bon voyage Audi. Uh, it was great to own a V10 and it sounds wonderful. It's just not me though, I'm afraid. I'm not an Audi guy, it turns out. This is my first and my last Audi. So I'm gonna crack on with what I know. Japanese cars, 86s and BRZs. That's my future. So take care, see you next time. Bye for now.